guys, it's Reese, and today I'm going to show you what is in my bags. Now that is bags multiple because I am a self-proclaimed bag lady. I like to be prepared for any situation and I always like to have things on hand that I know I'm going to need because if I don't pack it and then I need it, I'm going to be really annoyed with myself that I didn't pack it. So I like to have things prepared, different bags set up for different events or occasions and stuff, and I promise it's not that crazy. But yeah, this is just one of the ways I like to stay organized. I always have some sort of bag on hand. It's usually one of these that I'm about to show you. So if you're excited to see this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And I also just want to do a little bit of self-promo real quick because I recently created a blog. So it is a website called basicallyreese.com where you can find more content from me, especially a lot of tips and information insiders and things that you might not find on YouTube. So if you want to find more things from me, you can go to basicallyreese.com or click the link in the description box. So enough talking, let's get started. So I think the most important bag is my purse. Now this is just a black faux leather crossbody purse. It has the long strap and I just tend to like small to medium sized crossbody purses because it allows me to bring everything I need but not bring too much. I just can't have one of those big tote bags or or it's gonna be like the Mary Poppins bag. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. So yeah, I just bought this one from Tilly's. If it's still available, I will link it down below. But basically it opens up into two little sections here, which I really like because this back section, I keep my wallet. Wallet obviously is very important to any, I think, human being. And this just transfers between all the bags I'm gonna show you because you always need your wallet on hand. And this just has basic wallet things, money, cards, license, insurance, things like that. And this is like my favorite thing ever. It's little like grapefruit, citrusy things. And I get so many compliments on this wallet. I love it. And then I always, especially in the summertime, like to keep a pair of sunglasses on me. So I got this super cheap case from like H&M or something to make sure my sunglasses are protected. And I just like to keep a pair on hand because one, they make you look super stylish. <laughs> and two, you know, you gotta block out the sun sometimes. So these kind of transfer between my bags too, depending on where I'm going. Next on my phone, this is like obvious because it's on me 24 seven, no matter where I am in the world. And I'm pretty sure it's on everyone else too. Keys, need them to get around. They have my little gym membership tag on them. And they also have cute little keychains. I have a little watermelon and a little bunch of bananas. I got them both from H&M. I haven't been able to find them since, but I really like my little keychains. Always have a pair of headphones on me, whether I'm editing a video or I'm listening to music, listening to a podcast, just watching a YouTube video. Always have my headphones on me. And this one is the one where it's like a normal headphone jack and then the iPhone 8 headphone jack attached to it so I can always switch between my computer and my phone and stuff like that. So that's like the main things that I always have on hand, whether it's in my purse or any bag I'm carrying. And then in my purse specifically, I have oil blotting sheets because I have oily skin and it gets really annoying by the end of the day when I'm like looking like a grease ball. So I always have oil blotting sheets on hand, very essential. I always have whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day. So today I have the Milani Matte Innocence lipstick. Hand sanitizer because when I'm in public places, I like to keep hand sanitizer on hand because you know how many germs are there and I don't want to get sick even though I'm sick right now so that obviously didn't work and I usually have like a hair tie or two in here I always have like feminine products because you never know when you're gonna need them and that's basically it for my purse like I feel like that's not really a lot of things it's just kind of what the essentials are and yeah this is what I just grab when I'm on the go when I'm running out the door going to the store going to my friend's house whatever the case is this is what I bring. So this is the bag you're probably most excited to see. This is my camera bag slash work bag. If you didn't already know, I have a job as like a media producer type film thingy for this company. I have a whole video on a day in my life as a media intern. You can go and watch that if you want to figure out what I'm talking about. But I needed a camera bag to transport my cameras safely and effectively and also carry my laptop and a few other things when I'm going to work. And as a YouTuber as well, if I ever go anywhere and I want to film, I need it just a camera bag. So I recently got this one. This is from Amazon. I am absolutely obsessed with it. So I will link a 
link to it down below if you want to check it out yourself. This is by the brand Caden, and it's just like the most perfect bag I could ever ask for. What I like about it is that it's a good size. It's not ridiculously big, but it definitely fits everything that I need. And what's special about the camera part is that this little side pocket right here unzips to reveal this little section to hold all my camera. So this is what it looks like. I'm filming with my camera right now, obviously, but I typically hold it in here. And I only have one main DSLR camera and one or two lenses that I bring along. So here's one of the lenses I bring, and then I'll put my camera in here. I'll put the mic and like everything else I need in there. And then I'll safely slip it back into, if I can. I can get it in you know just put it back in there zip it back up and it's good to go so I didn't need like a whole really fancy super specific camera bag where like it holds a bunch of lenses and stuff because like I said I only have one main camera so this little bottom section is just perfect and then on the top half above it is like the main portion of the backpack so this just opens up and this holds a lot of stuff as well so first thing I have my vlog camera with me so I have the little tripod that goes with it and then my actual vlog camera I just upgraded to a Canon G7X so like I'm really excited so this stays on top so I can easily grab it and it also stays nice and protected and that is just in in my bag obviously next I have two notebooks so first thing I have is my bullet journal because this is where I organize my daily to-do lists and this is basically my calendar so when I'm at work, I want to make sure that I'm organized, I'm staying on track with all my tasks that I need to get done, so I always have my bullet journal on me so that I can do all that stuff. And then I also have my normal journal on me in case I want to take a break and I want to journal or like I'm on the train and I feel like whipping this out and journaling real quick. Have this because this kind of comes with me wherever I go. I have headache medicine because sometimes when you're working for a really long time on the computer you can get a headache or sometimes just going on the train kind of makes me motion sick and I get a headache so have headache medicine just to stay prepared. I have this little lanyard case where it just holds my train pass as well as the key card to get into my office building. These are two really random things but I always have them on hand. I'll make sure these are in like my main purse as well. It is a nail file because I always have a nail file on hand and people always find this surprising when I whip it out and I start filing my nails because my nails are really brittle and they break easily so I always need to file them down and people are like, you have a nail file in your purse? And I just wonder, you don't? And then I also have a little lip scrub. This is just the e.l.f. lip scrub that kind of just looks like a lipstick because I also have chapped dry lips. And when I reapply my lipstick, I don't want it looking all crusty. So I have those two. Have some gum because you can never not have gum. And then I have a bunch of pens and markers. One to fill out my bullet journal. Actually, mostly to fill out my bullet journal. And I just kind of bring whatever markers are like my color scheme for that month. And then I have pens and other things so that I can basically write in my bullet journal. That's that's the only function of these. It's way too many, like it's not necessary to have this many, but I have it anyway. So that is the top portion here. It's not that deep because like I said, the camera is on the bottom of it, but it fits everything that I need perfectly. And it's basically just an open slot. But in the back here, it does have a laptop sleeve, which is perfect because my laptop is my job. Basically, I cannot do my job without my laptop. so. That is perfect. And what I found with a lot of camera bags is that it didn't have a laptop sleeve in it, which was really confusing because in order to film and then edit your videos, you need your laptop on hand. So that's why I love this bag so much that it holds both my camera and my laptop safely. And then in this front pocket here, it's kind of slim. So this is just where I stick like an external hard drive and my camera charger or my laptop charger or anything to that effect. If you say you need to bring your camera, that means you need to bring like 10 other pieces of equipment with it basically. And then on the bottom here actually, if you can see these straps, this is where I can strap my tripod, which is I think one of the coolest features on this bag because Carrying around the tripod is very inconvenient and mine fits perfectly on the bottom here and it just frees my hands, it can keep it on my back and I just, I love it. So yeah, that is everything that's in my camera bag slash work bag and without this, I, I don't know what I would do. Like this has made my life 
so much better. All right, so we're on to the final bag. Now, these are the free bags that I always have set up and ready to grab whenever I need to get out the door. I have like so many other purses and bags and sometimes you need to switch it up for different events or occasions, but these are the three that I always keep prepared. So this is my gym bag. It's just a really like flimsy cloth bag that I grab whenever I'm heading to the gym. So this is pretty empty, not super crazy in here, but I always throw like my wallet and keys and like a water bottle in here as well. So it does get a little bit filled. So when I open this up, the first thing that you're gonna see are some resistance bands. So I got these off Amazon. I will link them below, but I love using these to work out. So they come in four different colors. <laughs> like that. Resistance bands are basically just like plastic rubbery bands that you use to do some exercises with and they all come in different strengths of resistance. So like this one is more resistant and will be tougher to use than like this pink one which is like super stretchy. So I always keep these with me because I never know when I'm going to use them in a workout and if I don't have them and I want to use them, it's going to be really annoying, so I just always have them. Next, I have these Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. Now, it sounds really funny, just like the term underarm deodorant wipes, but it's basically just like a body wipe, like a Kleenex or something, or a baby wipe. And I use these after I'm done running on the treadmill or doing a really hardcore workout and I'm sweating like crazy because I'll admit I'm a very sweaty person after I work out. And you don't want to look or smell gross, so I always keep these on hand. They smell fresh, they make you feel clean, and they are essential. I would definitely keep repurchasing these. Towel for sweating, again. Uh, keep a little washcloth on hand because, you know, I might just need to dab a little bit of sweat off my face before I go and move on to the other section of the gym so I don't look like I'm drowning. And then a pair of headphones. Even though I always usually have a pair of headphones on hand, these ones I just keep in my gym bag just in case because working out without your headphones is the worst. All right, so that is it for what's in my bags. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It'll make me very happy. And otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Peace.